Hello. Hello. Hey, Manu. You. Um, hmm. I think the Jurgen and Kay, the Oracle guys, told me they, they have some big meeting today, so they won't be able to most likely join. Oh, okay. Just mentioned that he joined on accident. Yes, can't make the call today. I don't know, maybe cake. I don't know. We'll see. Excuse <laughs> okay, mentioned something to you? No, Jurgen did, but I assumed also since they're kind of together, they both would be in the meeting. I don't know. Hey, Ricardo. Hey, Mano. <clears throat> Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Good. I think with the microphone you have, you can hear you from, from the moon, probably. <laughs> <laughs> that microphone again. <clears throat> yeah, we have a friend that really enjoys my microphone. <laughs> okay, then I guess this will be small round today. Um, Where is Lewis, man? Yeah, well, okay, um, the, let's start. Roll call, we did. Community questions? No? Okay, then let's discuss the release plan. So uh, 0 0.5 branch uh, was created, thanks. And um, so Tim, yeah, you put up this in the, uh, for the agenda. So are these the only two PRs that we want to get in before we do 0 0.5? Yeah, I think so. I mean, those are the only two ones we have opened and, and um, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, also, we haven't created any other um, issues or PRs from this. Maybe with the retry definitions going in, um, do you think we should make this attempt of um, putting error handling in a separate section? Yeah, that's the, one of the PRs that I do, of those two that I put in is the bigger uh, error handling PR. And been working on it and I talked to Jürgen and, and we talked about it all pretty much all day today, a couple of times. And then we got, I got a good idea of what he would like to see. And I think it makes a lot of sense. So. Again, for like the fourth time, I'm rewriting the, I mean, not rewriting, but changing because it involves a bunch of examples and stuff like that. So it's every time we change something, it's a big deal. But yeah, that's the big one that I'd like to push in. If the other one makes it in for 0 0.5 or not, it's kind of like, okay, in my opinion, but since it's already done, and I was hoping Louis would be here to, to because last week we, we wanted to ask him some questions. Um, so if that one gets in, I, you know, it's fine. If not, 
it would be nice if we did and then uh, all the issues that have to deal with retries um i talked to it because jürgen opened them all he agreed that it would be okay to do impose 0.5 as additions because even with the retry yeah. definitions as we have them now you can define retries very well it's just his would be enhancements to that for the next version that's the exponential back offs right mm -hmm. yeah cool i think technically we could check on these prs and just decide to have them in right um i'm still with the condition ordering i have my doubts because it is uh, as part of the format there is ordering and even if we had priorities um it's we, we'd have to clarify how equal priorities would be handled and then eventually they go in by order how they appear so i wanted to learn more about the use case if it was that multiple conditions might be um, merged somehow maybe there is an ide that wants to do this and then of course priorities um, they do make sense because uh, you wouldn't know in what order to merge them um, to begin with but other than that i i can only see the that it's it's already part of the language ordering right and it's ordered uh, arrays are both uh, or lists are ordered both in yaml and json that's my concern here but if you think otherwise then let's merge it oh now we can wait on this one i i i am not opposed to it um oh. waiting yeah let me actually um do an ai because i forgot to do that last week um talk to what is it lewis with the o or uh, you yeah Yeah, I'm ah, Lucas, not Luis, Lucas. So. Sorry. Yeah. Lewis too, sorry. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly fine with this going into the after release. But the error handling, we got to push that in. I just, it's just the peer and it's not done yet. I like to need one more hour and then I'll ping everybody for review again. Please, if you can do it this week, I would really appreciate it. So over a weekend, we can do the tag if possible okay and um, then approved pending changes and um was it how do you call it? that offline review or like uh, reviews okay and then we can push that in and then we'd be done for this 0 0.5 or so um, part of this is is the separation of error handling in a new section or um... no the error handling right now is it's defined in our specification it's pretty garbage honestly and it's a section that we've improved everything except that so this really kind of steps it up a lot it's a big improvement and it's something that later on we can work on to adding like the retry stuff that you know Jurgen is looking into. So he reviewed it already this morning. He said he couldn't make yeah. the meeting, but he did our reviews and 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 based on that, I, I still have to make a couple more changes. Uh, but basically what it is is um, we're gonna do explicit error handling. Um, you can take a look at that with on errors is going to define an explicit name and a code of an error error and then retries are going to become a top level definition like events and functions because for retry definition it makes sense if you want to externalize it or if you want to have all timeout errors in all states to be handled uh, similarly or in the same way and then on errors uh, error definitions you can either reference a retry definition which means you want to retry or if you don't that means you just want to basically catch that error and transition or end workflow so it's it's kind of like yeah so it's it was Sounds simple. good to me 
simplifies things and yeah i don't want to talk about it just review it whenever it's done yep. think it's okay uh let's peek at the issues so that closes um i think the retry definition uh, no sorry before that oh, we had this very old one update where workflow error handling um max attempts so this retry definition section the general section um do we want to do that after merging the pr yeah i'll update okay, oh, yeah. okay let, let's get uh do this one pr after another because uh, they are so related and then exponential back off goes in after 0 0.5 um uniqueness constraint for workflows you happen to know what this is about i think we pushed this out we out we didn't have time to talk about it this is a correlation i thought in in general we, with the correlation token we're good um yeah this is we do define correlation between events uh but this is correlation between uh workflow instance data and it's a lot bigger thing to think about. So it's it, that, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so if it's cross workflows, then I think, um, yeah, it's also to be pushed out. And then the JSON patch schema. Oh, Ricardo, since we have you here, um, do you want to do anything with this no, before 0 0.5 or? <laughs> oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. I believe that we can we can, we can can push that. Just check in for the release, no? No, no problem. problem. No. Yeah, no pressure. Okay. That sounds very good. And if you don't mind on <laughs> a short call, then uh, we can close early today. But let me check. Um, any other business? I think Ricardo wanted to talk yeah, about Yeah, I just would like to share about the, <clears throat> as the Go SDK. Uh, we finished the most most of the work uh, on, on the on the on the SDK side, so now you can parse any YAML or JSON file and from and go <clears throat> types. And um, this is basically you know, the first uh, feature that we'd like to uh, to have um, on the SDK. So uh, you're in pretty good shape for KubeCon. Um, there's a small roadmap that I shared as well in the rec in the README file. So um, you can, you can take a look on that to see um, what, what is planned for, for the SDK. So it is basically for now, um, I'm planning mm -hmm. to you know align the features uh, that we have on the Java SDK with the Go SDK, because it is basically the same thing uh, for now. Like uh, being, being able to create a workflow using a Fluent API or generate uh, an SVG um, image from the from, from from the workflow definition but the 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 hard work you know the to parse any any file any emo or json file in, in, into go types that was the, the 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 what we needed actually for the the go sdk because we had hadn't had uh, the time or you know the the actual feature in the in the old let's say sdk because uh, in that old sdk we we would we would have just the um, you know the types defined based on the schema, so that was wasn't work too much. But now you can you can actually uh, use the SDK into your application or Go app or whatever. Mm -hmm. Is that based on the JSON spec? Yeah, it is. We generate code based on the on the JSON spec. Um, let me ask about code comp or the completeness of this JSON spec code generation because uh, I found that different generation code generation tools um, are, yeah they, they do different jobs on on this schema generation if it's just a schema I mean that that's one thing but does it account for the the rules that we have of whether elements can appear or not whether they are optional mandatory and mm, yeah they follow the <clears throat> The, oh, so, so, some some of the spec uh, the the the, <clears throat> the workflow definition validation we don't have it yet uh, it is on the, on the on the roadmap to to take a look but um, for instance uh, Go doesn't doesn't work with interface like Java so uh, for instance the states attribute and you know 
give a lot of pain to, to implement that. And uh, we had to write a lot of um, custom code um, to encode from JSON, you know, and just to figure out uh, what kind of data, uh, what kind of state uh, there is expected to be in there, like an operation state or switch state. Um, because uh, you don't have interfaces in, in JSON or in Go, so you, you know, in the way that we have um, on Java, for instance. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it, it is working pretty, you know, good for the way you have. And the small validation we 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 also have as well. Mm -hmm. So you think there is the polymorphism of the structures used, right? Okay, cool. Uh, I also had uh, any other business, and that is, um, how do we go about the release? So when we freeze it now, and we only have this week to make it public, because there is already KubeCon next week. What is it that we want to do? And um, any ideas? Very welcome. So sure, everybody personally can uh, tweet about it, uh, put it out on, on LinkedIn, share as much as possible. I think there is a CNCF, um, there's a project support a service for a newsletter entry, something like that. Um, should we ask about this as well? Yeah, I think. If they can help us, Edward, yeah, definitely. We'll probably have to put together a small text for them, um, describe a little bit what it is about the release. And yeah, I mean, yep. you could look at the uh, roadmap, and it's a lot of things. So maybe we could just pick like a couple of the big stuff that we've changed since over the year. But yeah, I mean, we, yeah, definitely we could use some, yeah, like Twitter and maybe, I don't know, what else can we do? <laughs> the problem is we already recorded the videos for KubeCon, so we can't really add that to the videos now. That kind of sucks, but um, any, uh, yeah, maybe Karina has some ideas. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I was thinking of including some uh, some tweets and uh, posts on a couple of our community stuff for Red Hat projects. I don't have any account right now for the serverless workflow. And also it would require building it up a little bit before we could actually gather results from it, like from a from a serverless workflow, Twitter account, for example, we won't have that much fo much followers right now, uh, but I think that's that's how we should go. That's what I think we we could do right now because the I mean uh, most of the the people we want to reach are actually on Twitter and LinkedIn. I don't think that Facebook is was a good strategy right now. Or Instagram, for example. Yeah, there's there are a couple of um, online sites for blog posts, but oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, would yeah, require sure. work. Um, for example, Medium is or that's know, true. Yeah. This mm. on, that is true. Uh, the problem is that we post. Um, Posting the same content in different sites can make the score go lower and people won't find out about the blog so much. Like it, it's not displayed as much as a post that is not um, reposted in, in everywhere. So if we would like to have something posted, we would need to create different texts to put in the different blogs or just go for one of the blogs. So just a, a note here. Yeah, and I have a really good blog that we worked on for recently. I can just share that with everybody. You can reuse it. 
maybe change some words in it. <laughs> yeah, I can get that out on this one, for example. Yeah. That is cool. Anything else? I mean, we can always spam the serverless working group mailing list. Um, yep. And possibly. Yeah. yeah, we can blog on the on the CNCF website. I was told that the only incubating projects in higher can do that. So okay. Do you know about the newsletter on this media relations? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Okay. How about the sick? Well, I don't know which sick we belong to. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I think it's still uh, application delivery, isn't it? I have no idea, honestly. I there was some talk that Doug's team would become a sick. I don't know what happened with that. I'm kind of out of the loop completely. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, well, whatever works works like anything is better than nothing and that's kind of like the approach uh, I would also Karina I, I would like to maybe if we can at some point I know I'm pushing all the work like create a YouTube channel because I'm starting I, I have like three current videos and I will create more like every other week hopefully um, and I'd rather not post them on my YouTube channel, but if we had our team one, I think that oh, would... that, is, that is pretty a, a great idea actually. I can do that for us and share the the access with you. So if you want access, like admin access, any of you, just let me know which is your YouTube email, your Google email, and I can add it too. Okay. Just please send me the the logo that you have so that I can use there in the YouTube. Yeah, and it's not urgent. Like don't, like if we talk about something here, <laughs> you know, it's not like, oh, we did it by yesterday. No, this, this is free time work, you know? So don't put it on your schedule during sure. your course. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, and the timing, I guess, should be, um, yeah, maybe it's, Still early enough at our next community call, right? That's right before KubeCon. What do you think? People's channels will be congested with KubeCon stuff. What do you think is the good timing for this? I would publish it before KubeCon. I would, uh, so oh, the recordings were already done. So it doesn't matter because I mean, we could just put it there, upload the videos that Tihumi already have to the channel. And once people saw it, maybe they could subscribe because they would already know about it. So the best timing would be before the conference, uh, but only if the guys have a way to share it somehow, maybe on the chat, I don't know. So on Slack and of course during our presentation or after our presentations, uh, there's always the Q&A and, &A and um, maybe it can be put out as a, a last comment just before the Q&A finishes. I, last time we, um, my presentation was at the Service Practitioner Summit and there was not a lot going on during the Q&A. I think we had two or three questions. Um, this time it will be on the main conference, but I don't know if that's um, more busy. If not, I, I can I gladly give a hint. Anyhow, I have a hint in my presentation to serverless workflow and possibly also to the office hours. I'm not sure I put that in. Uh, maybe I just mentioned the website. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. And of course, uh, oh, there is no serverless practitioner summit this time, right? Um, but there is a serverless channel. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, interrupting you. For next group, let's 
do a release a month in advance, man. <laughs> because what's happening is right now uh, also the project booth that we have. Now, number one thing I want to say, we should be happy with what we have. This KubeCon, we got two or three, two talks specific about our project. We got Manuel's talk you're mentioning in it. We got two project office hours to get and a project booth. So we should like be happy with what we have. This is just like cake on top, you know, or whatever, however the saying is. So yeah, whatever extra thing this release, if we have time for it or not, everybody's busy. I'm happy with what we have. But in our project booths, I mean, project office hours, we can mention the release. The project booth, unfortunately, it's locked. So I can't add that anymore in there. So what it is, it, it is what it is, you know. Oh, that's locked already? No yeah. Changes? Oh. Yeah, they review, they have to review it for every project, apparently. So they locked it up for me at least. I can't make changes. Okay. Yeah. So then back to timing. This week would actually be better, right? As soon as we have a version. Well, there, um, I mean, it, 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 it all depends on some people. We need, like, I will, we need to finish this PR so reviewers are needed. I'll do it in an hour. So that's step one. And step two is Ricardo and I need to fix the SDKs. Uh, so for one thing, we need to figure yep. out what we're going to, what we're going to name it. The version, and don't worry, the version does not have to be 0 0.5. The SDKs have, can ver name this thing whatever they want, most likely 0 0.5, but whatever. Then we also need a release of the Visual Code plugin to the Microsoft uh, VS Code Marketplace. That's not a problem. I'll deal with that. So it is, I mean, it's not, and, and then we also have to tag, make the easy part is just create a tag and then tag the 0. 5x branch and the last thing that needs to be done is there's going to be a pr on master to update the latest version links uh you know on the readme on the main readme there is a link to latest release and current mass whatever and we should probably also not call it master but in the future we need to rename that you know whole language thing what is it called like right now? Is it uh, Google changed all this stuff to main, right? Main, yeah. Yeah, so we should probably do that at some point as well before CNCF asks us to, to do it. Oh, wow, yeah. I, I haven't noticed that yet. Um, okay, so main and uh, is then there is, is there a development branch? Um, or is main, is, is that the development branch? Well, I think the way it works, we just rename uh, master to main and push it and okay. call that old branch. But I, I never done it, and I'm scared of breaking stuff. And probably, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do it. Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. It won't be, it won't be that that hard. Uh, I've did that already on other projects on the community that I that I'm that I maintain, and it was pretty straightforward. It's just a pain, you know, to change the the local uh, links, but it is okay to do that. Uh, and uh, actually, there is a list of words that we should avoid. I'm not sure where is this list. I can I can I can take a look and I I, I can you know share with you to Homer because uh, it is not just master. It is um, oh, you know right. blacklist, whitelist, slave, all those words uh, that we should avoid. And uh, we, we, yeah, we need to, to, to search through all the, the repository to, to, to see if there is any mention of, you know, of these sentences. And then we should you know, take extra care when we are you know, rephrasing our um, dot documentation or you know, creating sentences and then things like that to yeah. be gender wise, gender -wise and all, yeah. all those kind of stuff. Ricardo, this uh, error, error PR will change. So we're gonna need PRs in Java and Go as the case to reflect the thing. Let's change the, the uh, JSON schemas a lot. So yeah, in addition to just when, when this air PR goes in, air handling PR, we need to before also push it in into the SDKs. 
Yes, for sure. Okay, that's all. <laughs> okay, then I think we came to half an hour that we can make a lot of use of. Uh, thanks, everybody. And um, read you soon. I think we, uh, yeah, I'm, I'll be waiting actively for the, for the PR to, me, to review. I'll take extra care that this email doesn't slip my mailbox. <laughs> No problem. I'll ping everybody in the in, the, in the comments. Thanks, Manuel. <clears throat> Thanks, bye. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. 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 bye.